Hello, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Happy birthday, Aries suns out there. All right, so we're reading on you and someone in your environment. How you guys see one another, how you feel about one another, what you want. We'll also ask some other questions here toward the end, depending how things happen. Feel free to check previous future reads for more or different information, your other placements, okay? Resonate different for everybody. I get a lot of comments about people saying, even though I say two weeks here, okay, this is a two week reading, people say three months, six months, that stuff is actually coming to play. It's pretty interesting. All right. Aries, please show me Aries. Page of Wands is popping. Okay, noted. <laughs> the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. All right. This is you in the High Priestess. Okay, what's going on? Ooh, look at this. Um, wow, Aries. Someone could be married here in a long-term relationship in your reading, okay? Could be two people who are together and have built a lot with one another, or there's a lot of cash flow going on between these people, okay? I feel like the masculine energy is wondering why the feminine energy is very cautious, or they feel like something is up with them here, this masculine energy feels like the feminine energy gets a lot of attention from like suitors or outside people, okay? Whether that's you or someone else. There's definitely a side person here in this reading so far, but let's see what's coming out. I'm just throwing that out there for those that know. So you have someone coming in that's a spy, <laughs> okay? So getting real, okay, this reading's already getting real... <laughs> Pretty interesting. You have someone coming in who's trying to figure out what in the world is up with you. Okay, where's Carmen San Diego here? This is somebody trying to locate you, find out what's up with you, what's going on, yada yada. All right, so let me see. This is how they're seeing you with the temperance and how they're feeling is gnarly. I'm hearing the word gnarly. Okay. Charles Barkley. Right here. Okay, let's see. I actually don't even know that guy's sign. I'm just saying that is a, that's what I'm getting right here. Yeah. Interesting. You have a lot of fire energy as well coming out on this person's side. The person who's spying on you could be a fire sign. We have a heavy Leo placement here. We also have some Sagittarius. It could be, all right? But this is somebody who's trying to figure something out with you. Hmm. This is someone who's trying to see if there's an opportunity that you guys can switch the whole vibe up. Like, you're not talking to them or they feel like you're kind of keeping it secret or you're hush about something. You're on the hush here. They feel, why is Aries acting so suspicious? Why is Aries hiding something? Why is Aries not saying anything, doing anything? What's going on, okay? So this is somebody who wants to get things back on track, but they're looking before they leap. They're look, They're putting their toe in the water, okay? This is someone trying to figure out stuff about you, giving it time, giving it space. Okay, I'll give you space to breathe, sure, but I still want to know your secrets, okay? This is somebody who wants to know your secrets. Let's see what's going on. I'm hearing you're nasty. That came up in another reading and someone said that someone had just called them that or something. I forget how it goes, but I don't remember if it was Aries. You'll know if that was you. Huh. I wonder if it was. All right. Let me see. Why is Aries in the High Priestess? hearing mind your business okay so you feel like someone is prying yeah the four of swords is here so what's going on 
you could be doing a lot of reading. I'm hearing pamphlet. There's something here that you're reading about, learning about, okay? It does look like reading specifically. You might have a lot of paperwork going on. So you have, yeah, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Look at that. So you're being extra cautious here. Why are you being so cautious? What is this here? I feel like you're dreaming a lot as well, or you could have like some prophecy going on. Like maybe you're seeing the future or you know, like you know what to expect right now. Let me see what this is about this person specifically. You could be wanting this person. Yeah. You want someone to open up some type of communication here. But it's like you don't know when that's going to happen. You don't know when people are going to tell each other secrets, whether this is you telling them or them telling you. I feel like you're getting someone to come forward by your behavior, whether you know that or not. I mean, it could be intentional, sure. But someone is coming forward because they're like wondering about you. This is someone who's going to fall into a trap here with you. It's almost like you're setting up a, a web for this person to come forward to. It's like, tell me all your secrets. It's something like that. Hmm. Yeah, because you do have the king of swords on the bottom. <laughs> Aries, what is going on? Uh, it's this. Okay. And see, there is a king and queen of pentacles here. Again. There's someone on the outside of like a relationship in this reading. Yep, here it is. Someone's having a lot of stress, nightmares even. overthinking things about relationships or about being an option or somebody being an option and whether or not to like tell somebody about it. So somebody in your vicinity could be wanting to tell someone who's married that they're, they've been like looking at someone or thinking about someone or talking to someone here. Just a side note, okay? Because there's a bunch of like, someone's really stressing about this. Like you, you yourself have some secret like desires here. This is what this is saying. But maybe you're afraid of like people keeping options open or somehow this is like off limits because you're keeping a secret. All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> or you know someone's secret, okay? Let me see. How do you see this person with the lovers? How does <laughs> Aries... How does Aries see this lover's person? Mm. Le Hierophant. Yeah, someone's married. I'm not, I mean, I mean, that's what this reading is, okay? Or a long-term commitment or supposed to be whatever the case, okay? What is this? Six of cups. You may feel like there is, okay, I'm going to give you another side note. This is saying like someone breaks up with whoever they're with to go to somebody, somebody else. But then they go back to the first person they were with. You see what I'm saying? So maybe you see this person doing that or this is you because you're saying that some sort of truth came out about a choice in love here regarding this person and someone had to get cut off. So I feel like there were some promises here to split with whoever the, whoever was dealing with somebody. Like this person could be dealing with somebody. Aries, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like it's you. But these readings can be vice versa. So I'm just going to continue the way I'm saying it. This person could be dealing with somebody and 
they come to you and they're like, oh yeah, that's, you know, that's my spouse, but we're in an unhappy relationship, you know, we're going through a separation or a divorce or this person doesn't love me good enough or, you know, stuff like that. Like the same old story is something like that that people say when they, when they just try to get something. Because the reason I say that is because this person will like talk, talk a good game, get somebody involved. And then when the crap hits the fan, they go back to their original partner here. Or something like that, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Yeah, you're seeing that this person like broke some sort of truth here or some sort of promise even. But some sort of truth came out about a, a choice in love, okay? And it's like, man, it's worse than I thought it was, or it's more convoluted than I thought it was, or than they actually said to me, okay? So you feel like you had to cut this person off. This is what the, you're like, I had to tell them this was done and over with, that we couldn't go anywhere, that this wasn't paying the bills, or this wasn't going to be functional somehow, or there was some type of lack here, okay? I also feel like this is someone who has broken silence with you, on another occasion, like just out of the blue came popping up and you're just like, oh, hey, what's up? Okay. Anyway, let's see your feelings of this queen of pentacles. These readings these days, huh? The three of cups, I'm telling you. Okay. Anyway, queen of swords. Yep. It's like someone, see this five of swords energy. It's, it's, uh, and plus we got two queens here. Um, some of you guys, there could be earth energy, of course. We have air sign energy here. Someone put their foot down and they said, listen, this is a commitment. This is a relationship. Okay. There could have been some gossip going on. I'm hearing gossip girls. I don't, I've never even seen that, but I hear it. This is somebody who... You may have had some, yeah, look at the, see the King of Pentacles again. So someone like took advantage of a vow, an oath, a promise, or someone's like belief system surrounding whether it's religion or a higher form of commitment here, that was taken advantage of, okay? But now it's like, let me get back on track and get back to what I know, get things right here. So you feel like someone was trying to be in a relationship with you. It's how you feel about this person. You feel like they were trying to get you to be in a relationship with you and they were jealous. Maybe they were jealous trying to burst your bubble or burst your relationship bubble, burst their relationship bubble, whatever the case. Whoever you're dealing with that you have this feeling about, you're saying they were playing games or manipulating, maybe lying to you, lying to other people, whatever the case, okay? It's like someone was trying to ruin someone's commitment. This is what you're saying. Like someone was like bitter, jealous, something like that. Okay. I am going to move to this nosy page over here. Let's see. And I'm seeing the nine of swords. Let me see this page. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, nine of swords again. Let me see this page of swords, please. Who is this? An Aries reading? This is like someone could travel to see someone in secret or like there's a desire to do so. Okay. Seven of wands. So there. So the king of swords is here. There it is. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is someone who's really curious about your connection with them, which is why they're looking over at you with this two of cups. Okay. They're thinking quite a bit about your relationship, your connection. I feel like they want a choice made. Okay. Okay. Or someone is making a choice about this connection. This looks like a, a strong connection here. 
okay? You're in like a playful, flirtatious, desirous energy, something about like, I don't know, maybe having fun, maybe this is like taking it more like day by day for some of you. But this is someone who's sussing out this connection here. I also feel like this is someone who's trying to figure out about you and your connection, if you're connected with whom and all those things. Let me see this. Yeah. See, they're in their head about like a marriage or a household with that Ten of Cups there. They keep thinking about that. They keep thinking about marriage, home, family, relationship, household, okay? Maybe they're trying to get information about you here. Yep, there it is, Aries, the Queen of Wands. They feel like they want it to be them. With them, with you. This is like, I, I can't keep juggling this, or I need to stop juggling, or maybe they're trying to see if you stop juggling, whoever the heck is doing this. Let me see this um, temperance. Yikes. How they see you. Temperance. They're seeing you in Sagittarius energy. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. All right. Yeah, see, here it is. Okay. You're in the Four of Wands. This person is seeing like you're kind of taking your time over here. Maybe you're building on a relationship, okay? But I do see that they see you as part of a relationship with them even. Like this is something that they would want to hold on to. I will tell you there is some confusion going on because this is someone who feels like maybe you have options, okay? Or you're keeping options open or you want all the cake and you want to eat it all too with the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. And if it's not you, then it's this person. But this is how they're seeing you. I'm just telling you, it's almost like, okay, yeah, I have my home life, I have my marriage, I have my family, my kids, my whoever, my spouse, but I also have an option or two or seven with the seven of cups, you know what I'm saying, and I'm keeping it all. This is someone who feels that here. They feel a very strong connection to you and they want to build on it. I, I'm telling you, okay, they do. And it's almost like you could be, I don't know if you like telegraph this person, telegraph, telegram this person, or like you send them like smoke signals or you like message them privately in secret or you have in the past, but something about you has dialed back, okay? You could be communicating with this person through secret means or you did, or this was on a trip or whatever the case. But this is like, can't do that anymore, you know? Okay, things are getting a little too hairy over here. That's what it looks. Let me see how this person feels with this strength. It could be an air sign or spying on an air sign, this person. It's either a fire sign spying on an air sign or air sign spying on a fire sign here. Hmm. Okay, nine of cups. Yeah, here it is. All right. This is someone who feels... Oh, my goodness. Um, they're losing some sort of, like, self-assuredness. So this is someone who's feeling less and less secure, or like losing some form of confidence in dealing with this situation because they're saying that there's a wish fulfillment tied to this, but because that somebody cannot choose this, they're feeling bad or like they can't really do much about it, okay? Like they're not chosen. This is like rejection. Yeah. The eight of cups right here. There's some sort of idea about leaving an area where people have been building on with this eight of cups, right? This is like, okay, I've been building all these eight cups here, but something is unfulfilling. I'm going to go find my ninth cup and it's right after. So they're over here saying if something is left behind, then there's like a better thing where the grass is greener type energy. They're talking about that here. Okay. Let me see what you want with this um, king of pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Let me see what you want with this. 
yeah, the Ten of Pentacles again. That's like longevity, marriage, family, you know, generational stuff like wealth and things. This is you wanting to disconnect from this individual. Maybe somebody's household is on the line. This is what it looks like, okay? It's like you're gaining in distance or you're just trying to keep your distance here in the next two weeks is what it's looking like, okay? Because you do have the death card with the four swords. This is like tapping out and it's like, this is done or there was an ending back there. I'm going to heal from that. That's what you're talking about. It's like, let me just mind my own business, okay? You could unknowingly be finding yourself moving right back to this person or this person is going to somehow pop up. I'm telling you. And they are, they are kind of spying anyway, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, there's a choice between like a spouse or like a side person or this is you, okay? It's like, I'm going to keep quiet here. I feel like you're taking like an oath or like a vow of silence. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's like you could choose to like wreck your home or somebody else's or this is the person. You're choosing to kind of be mum or keep quiet, keep silent, like... Yeah. Let me see this person with the page of cups. My goodness. What is this page of cups? So you either know about lies and secrets or this person is telling you lies and secrets. So either you're keeping them or someone, you could be doing both here. Like you could be keeping secrets that are kind of like lies of omission just because you're not telling somebody that like depends on you to be honest with them or something like that. Or this person is doing it to you. It's like you're keeping a secret with somebody. This would be like dirty secrets even or just something. All right. It's like something that would like ruin things for people. Let me see this page of cups. What is this? Person doing, wanting, please. Okay, I'm hearing something about limes. Majish. There you are, Aries. I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Whoever this individual is right here, they are pretty disappointed that your sitch is not coming together, okay? So it's almost like, hey, why didn't that work? What they're doing is on standby in a way with this Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're very hopeful that they're going to hear from you again. But what they're doing is manifesting you to come toward them or speak to them or to rush toward them here. This is resulting in some type of disappointment in the first place. I feel like they're just completely disappointed that you guys are not, you know, they're not having success with you because there's some sort of desire, desire that they want with you as well. But someone's in a relationship, or someone, yeah, some type of, you know, they could be wanting you to split up or this is you. Whatever the case, this is someone who's manifesting a comeback around with you. They want to talk to you again. You know, all that jazz right there. Let me see what's behind. Yeah. See, it's like, oh, I'm very hopeful that things will change. We can have this love relationship. It'll be more stable. Things will be different. Things will, um, this will be chosen here. Okay. Cause you're seeing this person with the choice and it's almost like you had to tell them no or goodbye. So you cut this person off. I'm seeing it. You're like, listen, I gotta go. Or they did that to you. Thing is, I think it's you and this person's trying to reconnect. All right, because someone has a person. Okay, next two weeks, what will be happening between Aries and this um, Page of Swords person, please? King of Cups, King of Pentacles. <laughs> The two kings, okay? The five of pentacles is right here. Mm -hmm. And the two of cups. 
People are missing each other in the next two weeks from what I'm seeing. There's a lot of feeling going on, but there's not a whole lot of tangible energy going on. So it's like, I feel for you. I miss you. I care. These kinds of things. But there's not like that full blown like talking or connection or something like that, which I feel is wanted. Yep. The four of pentacles and the ten of wands. Someone decides to kind of hold on to either their generational monies here or their family lineage or their household, their marriage. Someone's deciding to hold on to that, okay? Because things are getting a little bit difficult, that Ten of Wands. I was like, this is too much. It's kind of like that. Dealing with all these kings is too much or these whoever, okay? Two of Cups. Yeah. See, here it is again. This is somebody absolutely most definitely trying to come back. All right, let me see your next two weeks, Aries. And then I'll see the page of swords person's next two weeks. They're like, I'm just looking to hear back or like, what's up? When are you going to talk again? Okay. Someone's on the side. Sideline. I'm hearing burger. <laughs> burger. That is so gross. I just heard, I don't even want to say it. All right, Aries. Um, <laughs> page of swords just popped out again. Um, Aries next two weeks. What's happening here for Aries in the next two weeks? Five of swords, really? So the queen of pentacles, yeah. And that was there too. The moon and ace of swords. Well, well. You know some stuff here, all right? Interesting. You already know that this person's kind of spying or keeping tabs on you. And you know that this person is like secretly sneaking around or like watching you. This could be someone who's trying to sabotage you and whatever you have going on. Somehow, some way, they could be looking for that, looking for some sort of information, some sort of dirt, or they want to spread some type of secret or even an illness. That is interesting. So the tower is coming in and the two of pentacles and the two of swords. I feel like you're trying to keep this person out of your energy, but they're not. They're just really not. It's like you, you're you attempting to like block this out or stop thinking about this, okay? It's like, man, I really got to quit, you know, these secrets because I feel like either this is like someone threatening to let something out or someone's trying to let it out. Okay, someone could be gassy here as well. Let me see this. Yeah, the chariot. Okay. I have a little side note, okay? Someone could be asking, like, it could be this person, like, trying to get something from you, and then they won't tell whether that means money or attention. Like, this could be, like, some form of blackmail. Just be careful, guys. Someone has it out for you, and it's because they don't like what you're doing, and they're jealous of your situation. Like, they thought it would be different with them or something like that. Okay. Yeah, see the Five of Swords? Um, yeah, so if this is a Leo or something like that, okay. They may have a play, like a prominent placement. This is someone who's not above like doing some sort of like manifestation. I don't know if it's like magic or what, whatever they're doing. Okay. You may, may already know this. It's just... Unfortunate, I guess. Let me see. So this person in the next two weeks, this Page of Swords individual in Aries reading, let me see what they're going to be doing in the next two weeks. So I feel like you're kind of in the next couple weeks, like you're deciding if you're going to spill the beans or someone else is like telling you they're trying to spill the beans here. I also feel like you may have another opportunity to like block this person again. <laughs> oh no. 
Well, this person in the next two weeks is the ace of wands. Yep, here it is. They they completely, totally believe. Even if you block them, you're not talking to them or whatever this is. Sagittarius energy, heavy. Maybe some uh, Libra energy in their chart somewhere. Or a moon Libra energy. Yeah, look at that. They're trying to manifest this big time. I'm seeing it, okay? Whatever's going on, though, it's like they don't want to let go. They're still hanging in there. They're still hoping and waiting for you to do something or to switch something up. Yeah, see this page of swords again on the bottom. It's like they're looking forward to hearing from you having this brand new beginning. The nine of wands. Yeah, they may be a little bit irritated or pissed with the weight or what have you, but they still are being optimistic that you guys are going to reconnect. Could be someone reconnecting with you for um, like luring you in for like fun time kind of energy let me see or they're trying to let me see this please five of cups yeah the three of swords i saw the three of swords on the bottom as well so yeah the manifestation energy is here again i'm telling you this is someone who's like really got you all in their energy like i'm hearing you got me messed up okay so this person has you all in their energy they're not going to let this go they really want another shot or another chance here with this situation they don't feel like it's over it's like it's not over till i say it's over kind of energy so what they're doing is manifesting this could be someone who's pretty magical or they're manifesting some sort of opportunity here with you okay i'm just telling you because they're not happy with this like you know that we're not together vibe they're so they're so hopeful is what it is yeah see the seven of cups see this devil i'm telling you they want this a lot quite a bit okay all right did I take up a lot of your time here, my love? Yes, I did. I love you so very much, Aries. Feel free to check previous and future reads for more or different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tony down the street, check their placements too so we know what the heck everybody in the world is up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.